And the Prophet وسلم, is the one in whose footsteps we, footsteps we walk and in whose presence and fragrance we swim وسلم, Why? Because he وسلم, was not just a mu'allim but a mu'addib He wasn't just a person who taught people He was also a person who gave people the finest of characters which is why people who say they're inheritors of the Prophet وسلم, should uphold and quantify these very qualities of the Prophet وسلم, of great morals, of great characteristics the Prophet ﷺ taught people adab before he taught them knowledge. Which is why Zayn al-Abideen radiallahu anhu, once he was sitting with a person from one of the lower tribes of, of the Quraysh, from Bani Adi, Aslam Mawla Umar radiallahu anhu, a slave. Zayn al-Abideen, the great great grandson of the Prophet ﷺ, and people said to him, why are you sitting with a person who is not of your rank? And he said, radiyallahu anhu, al-mar'u yajlisu haythu yantafi' A person should sit down wherever he benefits. Where? From the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would sit wherever he benefited. Told people to sit wherever they benefit. And this is the way that we create a passion for knowledge, a passion for education, a past passion for revolution in our communities. Through the etiquette of the Prophet ﷺ. And through that we get our, our, our etiquette. Through that we get our presence. Through that we get our honor. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the Prophet ﷺ intense honor. But what did he expect from us? That we also fill the footsteps of the Prophet ﷺ.